Tell me one good reason why I should try continuing to fight it Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is an unboxing and first impressions of the well, nakita nyo naman sa title and thumbnail. So this is the Thunder Robot G50 um, wireless gamepad. And of course, shout out to New Game Plus Store for reaching out and providing me with a unit. Raming salamat po sa tiwala. So kung di nyo pa naririnig ang New Game Plus Store, malamang hindi pa. They're a uh, new online store. So, hindi pa sila opened. So, magkakaroon sila ng uh, Lazada page. So, based pa lang sa pangalan ng store nila, they're gonna be selling um, gaming peripherals, gaming um, accessories, and all that stuff. Of course, I'll be leaving the link to their page in the description below. So, if you guys want to check it out, then check it out. Although, again, hindi pa sila bukas. So, uh, hintay, hintay lang kayo. And also, once they're open, magbibigay sila sa akin ng coupons for you guys. So, um, Pag nagbukas na sila, come back here or pwedeng i-share ko na lang sa Facebook page ko and Twitter. So, like and follow. And without further ado, let's unbox this. And of course, kung di nyo pa naririnig ang Thunder Robot, yung company na gumawa ng gamepad na to, then uh, new company lang sila sa China. Um, that's all I know as of making this video. Ay nako, hirap buksan yung isang side pero ito na po tayo. So, kung hindi ka pa nababanggit, um, yung New Game Plus Store, um, as of making this video, hindi pa sila bukas. And this is going to be one of the products that they're going to sell. And one thing that they mentioned is that this is uh, compatible with almost every platform you could think of. So, um, Windows 10, Mac OS, Bluetooth, Nintendo Switch. So, uh, that's uh, really intriguing. Android and iOS. So, ito, um, Chinese uh, written yung iba. Pero yun, um, for all platforms, uh, Bluetooth 5.0, 6-axis gyroscope. So that's really something new um, from the past gamepads that I've used. Dual vibration motors and uh, joysticks manufacturing by Alp. So I don't know about that to be honest. Pero yun, never cut toward yourself guys. Um, huwag niyong gagayahin. O nga pala yung box. Um, so really nice packaging overall. And there is the G50. Ito na po tayo. But for now, oh wait, there's buttons on the back. So that's actually a nice surprise. So they have extra buttons at the back. And here, the good thing about this is that it's USB Type-C. Very nice. So we'll set this aside for now. Check what else is in the box. So, okay. So this looks like a phone holder. So very nice. So kung mobile gamer ka, this is a nice addition, at least uh, included na yun, hindi katulad nung uh, Steel Series Stratus Duo na nag-charge ng $10 more para dun sa attachment, ayun. But this is a nice addition, so yeah. And uh, USB Type-C cable, so hopefully uh, like the ECSMX gamepad na nareview ko, so uh, pwede siya din sa ano, um, wired connection. Um, yan, yung logo nila and yeah, and instruction manual. So, ayan. So, parang buong pangalan na ito, buong pangalan na ito, is the TCG50. So, yun. And actually, siguro first time ko na tignan yung instructions. <laughs> instruction manual sa isang product na reviewing ko. Um, everything is in Chinese. So, walang translation in... Wow, nahulog. Wala siyang translation in English. And this looks like the warranty card. I think so. Pero yun. So, yun guys, first impression. So... Medyo, um, hindi ko, I'm not a fan of the left and right buttons. Parang medyo kulang yung ano niya, um, feedback. But for everything else, um, high quality shit naman. Um, o nga pala, this will be released for um, 2,100 pesos. So, a bit pricey compared to the uh, other gamepads that I've reviewed. Pero, considering the features and functions and overall build quality, um, I wouldn't, I'm not complaining, yeah. So as a whole, matte finish siya. So that's very nice. Um, glossy finish to, kung nakakita nyo naman. Tsaka itong extra button sa likod. Not a fan of the glossy finish, but uh, yeah. And glossy din tong D-pad. So yeah. Um, wait. So yung mga nakikita nyo guys, saan, saan makita nyo maayos. So ito, we can turn and turn off uh, vibrations. Ito at ayan. And lights, LEDs. I mean, nakita ko sa box na parang 
Ito atang right thumbstick um, May ring light ata dito So we'll see At isang bagay nga pala na hindi ko nabanggit um, This is in the Xbox controller layout So so here it is side by side to the ECSMX gamepad that I reviewed uh, Also in the Xbox uh, controller layout But with a few extra buttons And a bit of a different um, Actually ito pala Mas similar pala siya sa Xbox One controller So yung uh, ECSMX uh, Xbox 360 controller layout. So, hindi ko masyado napansin yun nung unang tingin, pero ayun. And first, compared to an Xbox One controller, meron tayong additional buttons like, again, the 4D vibration and LEDs. Uh, I think that's 4D LED. A back, turbo, start, and mode button. So, that's uh, for changing uh, different platforms from different platforms. And feedback of the buttons uh, besides the left and right buttons that I'm not a fan of. Everything seems to be really good offering good feedback and yeah at isa pala napansin ko guys uh, dalawang separate buttons pala to yun nasa likod so M1 M2 M3 so yeah dalawang separate to ito tsaka ito and M3 ay M2 and M4 so that's uh, really freaking cool ngayon ko lang nakita yun so guys eto nga pala sa likod may nakalagay na bluetooth icon and USB connection icon so, most likely, pwede mo itong gamitin as a wired controller. That would be awesome. So, yeah. Ito nga pala, muntik na makalimutan. Di pa natin alam kung paano buksan to. So, I see no power button. So, most likely, itong home button yung power button niya. So, mm, baka hold. Wow! <laughs> Gago as thing. So, there's a ring light. Wait, I'm not going to be able So there is a ring light dito sa right thumbstick. Um, actually, 8. I feel like 8 lahat to umiilaw. So there's 8 uh, LED parang for notifications. And of course, the buttons. Ang cool, ang cool. <laughs> so uh, A, B, X, Y, of course. So that's really freaking awesome. I mean, right off the bat, um, daig pa nito ang Xbox One controller. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, wala atang umiilaw sa Xbox One controller. So, that's uh, really freaking cool. So, ewan ko, baka nandito na din yung battery indicator. So, I'll um, mess around with this for a bit and come back to you guys in a minute. Two hours later. Literally. Hey guys, maligay yung pagbabalik. Um, matagal na panahon sa akin. Sandali lang sa inyo. Pero, ayun. So, I have actually tested this on my PC. So, this only works through um, Bluetooth. So, wala siyang 2 4 gigahertz um, interface uh, wala siyang dongle na kasama kung alang bluetooth pc nyo that's actually okay you can uh, use this as a wired controller i have used it and uh, pretty minimal dead zones uh, detected as an xbox controller so no problems there and before we get into that so kita nyo man uh, open ang pubg mobile sa aking phone so a few things nga pala nagsong i-mention so yung led lights nyo pwede nyong uh, i-adjust through here yung LED button dito sa left side so you can adjust brightness and turn it off altogether to save battery and yeah getting into this a pakul ng uh, feature na to guys so ito yung phone holder niya so kaya pala may ganun siya so dito mo slide yung phone holder etong uh, etong parang uh, prongs or you know, whatever you want to call it so just slide it in here at the top and then slide it down and you're pretty much good to go so you can uh, travel with this like this or ayun and one thing is fix yung position nung pag lock nung uh, phone holder so this is the only angle that you get to use it to but i would say this is the optimal angle uh, for when using smartphones so just put your smartphone in um uh, di nga pala ako sure siguro mga um, up to 7 inches so pwede naman siguro ang 7 inch na tablet dyan I'm, I'm not so sure pero yun yan going into this guys so nakita nyo naman open ang PUBG and you can actually manually uh, assign the buttons so to yeah map the buttons to the different locations here it's pretty customizable but you have to download the app so so this is the app key linker so nasa play store siya and nasa app store if you're on ios yeah hindi ko papakita ngayon kung paano ko customize yun siguro sa full review na natin uh, tupagin yun pero for now this is um madaya pero at the same time may flaw so yung main problem is dito sa right thumbstick so 
if left or right limited lang so nagi stop yung uh, movement ng camera yung pagpan nyo sa right ang uh, maliit lang yung distance ganun lang pero pag sa left medyo significant yung ano so nagi stop siya so ayun yung flow so while the other buttons are functioning well um, wala naman problema sa ano wala naman delay or latency pretty much no delay or latency pero again yung flow is sa uh, right thumbstick so ayun as I mentioned ewan ko kung may mali sa pag uh, setup ko pero wala naman problema doon kasi um, kung uh, kinalikot actually pero feeling ko okay naman yung pagka setup ko ewan ko kung sa um, compatibility issues to or ayun pero yeah this is actually a really cool feature baka pwedeng uh, ma-update, um, pwede ma-fix yung flow na yon through a software update, ayun, software firmware, uh, I'm not sure. That's gonna do it for this video, hopefully uh, na-enjoy nyo ito guys, um, siguro next week ko gagawa ng review neto, I'm not sure, pero yun, shoutout ulit sa New Game Plus Store, um, check them out on Facebook, uh, I'll leave the link in the description below, but yeah, that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Thunder Robot uh, G50 wireless gamepad so guys leave a like if you did dislike if you feel like you have to consider subscribing and turn on notifications to be updated on my latest videos and for more videos like this as always bookmark and use my lazada affiliate link pag bumibili kayo sa lazada and donate to my paypal to support the channel like my facebook page and follow me on twitter for other updates and announcements at ako nga pala guys malapit ng 11-11 sale ng Lazada so gagawa ako ng 11-11 um, tech deals video sa Monday mismo so most likely umaga ko upload yon so stay tuned for that and of course stay tuned sa review ko neto so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!